Stephen King once wrote that nightmares exist outside of logic, and there's little fun to be had in explanations. They're antithetical to the poetry of fear. In a horror story, the victim keeps asking why, but there can be no explanation, and there shouldn't be one. The unanswered mystery is what stays with us the longest, and is what we'll remember in the end. My name is Alan Wake. I'm a writer. What's up guys? Finally, one of my all-time favorite games, Alan Wake, got remastered. So today, I'll be doing a playthrough of it. I've always had a vivid imagination, but this dream unsettled me. It was wild and dark and weird, even by my standards. So yes, it began with a dream. Following a typical nightmare pattern, I was late, desperately trying to reach my destination, a lighthouse. For some urgent reason, I couldn't remember. I'd been driving too fast down a coastal road to get there. I think the lesson here is, if you're trying to hitchhike, probably hitchhike don't hitchhike. stand in the middle of the road. He was dead. I was convinced they'd put me in jail and I would never see Alice again. And this is actually my fifth time playing through this game, and right away I can tell they changed Alan Wake's character model to more fit the guy that actually played him. Because if you didn't know, this game actually, when it launched, had a prequel that came out uh, right before, basically, that was like a one-episode TV show, and he actually, the actual actor, appeared in it at the very end. I hardly stand my feet. Hello. This is Sam Lake. I'm the creative director of Remedy and the lead writer. And at first, I thought listening to the commentary would be cool, but Welcome no offense to, to Sam Lake, but I quickly decided I didn't want to listen to this the entire time I was playing the game. I'm excited to talk about things that I kind of feel should not be talked about. You know, the unanswered. And a cool little interesting fact, the, this car that actually appears several times throughout the game is heavily based off of a 1973 Dodge Dart. The radiator had broken when I hit the hitchhiker. The car wasn't going anywhere. I had to go to the lighthouse. I knew there was something important waiting for me there. And I kind of wish, honestly, more games had a narrator like this. I just feel like it just totally adds to the experience. The bridge had collapsed. I'd have to find another way to the lighthouse. And right off the bat, this game looks good. I mean, the original game honestly looked great as well. I recently played through that, but they did a pretty good job on this remaster from what I can tell so far. One of my favorite parts of Alan Wake is just how well they use lighting throughout of it. You think you're God? You think you can just make up stuff? Play with people's lives and kill them? You think it adds to the drama? You're in this story. Now we get to learn how to dodge, which is probably my least favorite part of the game, because it just always felt janky to me. And unfortunately, this being a remaster, not a remake, all of the bad parts of Alan Wake are still here as well. <laughs> I realized that the hitchhiker was a character from the story I'd been working on. And yeah, the entire premise of Alan Wake, which I always thought was really cool, is he's basically a writer, but what he writes comes to his
whole beginning sequence just has like that cheesy movie feel to it, and I love it. Wait, it's me! I'm Stuart, remember? Put my game is- Oh no! So from what I can tell, these are all like characters in the book he was writing. And they're all basically coming to life around here. I was trapped. There was no way out. Well, now I gotta ask what kind of drugs Alan Wake is on. <laughs> and can take some getting used Good. to, but it well. is really We're enjoyable once talking. you get used to that it. That is all. I will give you back your dream now. In the nightmare, a terrible darkness was taking over the world. The lighthouse was the last safe place on Earth. Nothing like a flashlight with the real force and batteries. You'll run into these a lot too. Why this town has emergency boxes literally every five feet, I don't get, but it's a cool little way to integrate it into the game. Like.
lasted basically the entire game outside of court. And you'd think it might get a little boring, but it really doesn't. Honestly, like throughout the game's entire length, it's quite fun. I can keep this up! Also, these cutscenes are like near movie quality. Just another nightmare. Everything's fine. You dozed off. Right. Anything more than dozed off would be news for everyone. Cheer up, handsome. We're here. You could probably have seen it coming already, but it turns out that was all just a dream. Well, I'll probably leave off here for now. If you guys like the video, like and subscribe helps a whole lot. But until next time, see you guys later. <laughs> sure. I'll even give you a title for the shot. A city boy. Moments before he got eaten by a bear. <laughs> <laughs>